you know, under the tutelage of two great guys in the space that don't get talked about enough for just their mentorship capabilities like Sean O'Malley and Tim Welch. I feel like they don't get talked about enough in what they do for their amateurs, their pros, mm -hmm. and how much they go above and beyond. Talk to me a little bit about just kind of what it's been like to be under their tutelage, both in a professional setting in the fight game, but also personally just developing that friendship and that relationship with them as peers and as a mentors. Yeah, you know, that's been a game changer. I've been, that, that's been a big blessing, you know, uh, I'm from Montana, so I'm from the same place as those guys. And, you know, growing up, you know, I've been, I've been wanting to do this since I was in like third grade, you know, but there wasn't much martial arts. The most I, I, I've been wrestling my whole life because there was wrestling and I wrestled because I knew I wanted to fight in the UFC and, and get a gold belt when I'm older. So like, that's the only reason I wrestled, um, did some boxing and whatnot, obviously growing up. But there wasn't like jujitsu programs and no really like a really good affiliated gyms or anything like that up in Montana. But Tim was from Montana and he, uh, I, you know, I saw him in the fight scene doing his thing and I, I, I followed his fight uh, fight career. So I'm going to Arizona. So, you know, I've been messaging Tim since like middle school telling him, hey, like I can't wait to move out to Arizona. So like I was blessed enough to where, uh, you know, Tim kind of recognized me, knew I was a good wrestler, knew I was a scrappy kid and gave me a chance to come out here. I, I got a, a move in. I got to move in and live with Shug right after he won his contender series fight, you know. So like, I got to see how he was living like a a martial artist and how you know his habits and whatnot. Like I got to live firsthand with him for like eight months, which uh, I got to pick up a lot of useful skills there, you know. And then just following their podcasts and just being around them all the time, the books they read, the habits and everything. Yeah, you know, uh, it's been a big blessing. You know, I definitely been been taking notes from them too, and it's it's helped my career a lot. And uh, yeah, Tim. Tim is hands down the, the best coach in, you know, in the world. I, I you know, he's one of the best coach. I've worked with uh, some good coaches in wrestling and whatnot, some really like experienced coaches. And Tim is a, Tim is one of the best coaches I've ever got to work with. So it's been a blessing.